What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Lou Rock TV. And today is a VR for Shoebox Legends. Great channel, aside from the fact that he's a Red Sox fan. <laughs> but we all can't be perfect. But I'm going to put a link in the description below. Check out his channel. Great collection. Great channel. Happy to have found him. And to give him a shout out for this VR. <clears throat> Real cool VR. How has YouTube changed your collecting? Now, prior to YouTube, I just pretty much, especially when I was a kid, I collected everything. I had football, baseball, basketball, collected all the star players, as many rookie cards as I could get. Still love rookie cards. And as I got older, my, my pay wage got better. I could get better rookie cards. But I have reached a point in my collection or in my collecting that uh, collecting rookie cards are expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. <clears throat> so I have to pick and choose targets. Now, that's very hard for a collector. And um, a real great influence are two Hall of Fame YouTube legends, Snoop, Xavier, and Aaron Davis from 80s Collections. Those two love a relic cards and um talking with them becoming friends with them um text messaging messaging talking on the phone just i became um an admirer of relic cards back in the day you know when i opened up a pack or a blaster or a box of whatever and hit a relic it was cool but it wasn't something like oh you know Something that I appreciated. Now, with that said, I enjoy and love relic cards. However, I'm not talking about today's relic cards. I'm talking about late 90s, early 2000s, maybe to 2010. And because um, they were game worn, they had the dirt on them. Um, the authentication is so much better than what you see today. I won't get into that because you guys all know. But, um, Yes, YouTube has affected my collecting in that way. I enjoy relic cards and autographs because uh, I can't, you know, you want to buy, you want to find, you want to collect cards and collecting relics was a way to uh, scratch that itch, so to say, or so to speak. And probably my favorite relic card right now is this Mike Schmidt. Look at that. That P is from his hat. And then you got the sick auto underneath. Just love it. Love it, love it. And this is number 50. And this is 2003. So early 2000s again. Here's a nice little Teddy Ball game. Shout out to uh, Shoebox Legends. Little Red Sox action. Saw this in the value box. I'm like, come on, bro. And then this is from uh, 2006. And as it says, it says you have received a game used jersey. On the front of this card is an authentic piece of jersey worn by Teddy Ballgame. It says Ted Williams, but in an MLB game. They don't do stuff like that no more. Just a little swatch, but it's a splinter splinter. Come on now. But, you know, I got more cards, but. I also collect relics of people who aren't in the Hall of Fame. People I enjoy. Um, here's a little Thurman Munts in action. Beautiful Thurman. And then Elston Howard. Like, who doesn't love Elston Howard? Look at that jumbo piece. So sick. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a Hall of Famer like Mr. October with that beautiful pinstripe upper deck come back. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to do that for their extinct product, extinct set or card. I hope they do because I love Upper Deck, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have a little twist on it. Here's a standing man with a game used bat. Here's a nice little Joey D. Game used pant. Got the little stitch in there. Real dope. And then this one's just sick. Rizzuto, Joey D, and 
Yogi, hey, boo boo. Got some pinstripe in there. Got some uh, game used bat. And this is beautiful. This is triple threads, numbered out of nine. It's number two for the Capitan Derek Vegeta. Oh, speaking of game used jersey of Derek Vegeta. Also an upper deck, well, upper deck clear product. Numbered out of two. 45 real sick love it so that's how youtube has affected my collecting for the better um you know like i said i wish i could go out and buy a duke snyder or a 48 stand the man but those things take time those things gotta stack those chips up oh speaking of might as well show you this this is my latest pickup went to a car show was pretty much uh, a dud. This was a couple weeks ago, but ran to a buddy of mine and uh, he ripped a box of something and hit this Hall of Fame auto. Had a sticker of 25 on it, gave me the homie discount and gave it to me for a 20. Ted Simmons, look how clean the auto is. I mean, I know the green doesn't really do it for me. I wish it was on red, like color on color, but come on, that auto is so clean. He's a Hall of Famer. $20. And in the meantime, people still trying to sell their Fernando Tatis autos for like $300, $400, $500, which was funny to me. All right. So that was the first part of the challenge. The second part of the challenge is to, I guess, wish or, or talk about an extinct product set card that you wish would come back. And for me, I think it's obvious. Some people might not see it, but I love cereal cards. I love food issue, but cereal cards were the best. When I was a kid, drove my mom crazy because I would always stick my dirty hand in the box, shuffle around and look for the card. I think later on they started putting the card on the outside of the bag, but uh, I still empty the, the whole cereal. <laughs> cereal. So my mom would yell at me for putting my dirty hand in the in the cereal box. So then I started dumping the whole box in a salad bowl and then try, attempting to put that salad bowl full of cereal back in the box and it was always a mess. So I wish these companies would bring back cereal cards. And here's some 91s. Shout out to my boy, <clears throat> Double D, Dylan. Because uh, I decided that's how I'm going to enjoy my collection. I got them in some card savers. And then I'm using these four pocket. And I'm just going to have an album full of uh, my food issues. Oh, back to Hall of Fame Autos. Mini Monoso. I took that out to show. All right. Now, these are 91s. Love these. And nothing's better when you find these uncracked. Or if you find them still sealed. I got a couple still sealed, but I didn't pull them out because I got a lot of cards. So pretty sick. Let me try to find you another year. This is 92. Little Tony Perez, Pete Rose right here. Boom. Love these, man. If they could bring back these cards, it'd be so dope. So those are Kellogg's. Here's some of the ones from my childhood. These are from early 90s. I think it's 90. Yeah, 90, 91, 92. So here's a Clemens. Here's some 91s. Vince Coleman, stud. I think that was Tatsio. And Conseco. Loved Conseco back in the day. That was my dude. Another Clemens. And here's some 92s, 93s. So that's pretty cool. But let me show you some bangers. Let me show you some bangers. All right, so this is a 62 post serial Mickey Mantle. Beautiful. I want my another one. Here's a 63 post serial of Roberto Clemente. Super sick. Just from the inside. I mean, from the inside, but this is how the inside of the box looks like. <laughs> this is the outside of the box. <laughs> All right, here's some post cereals right here from 62. Here's a beat up Clemente. 
I would love to get that, uh, get another one slabbed. Here's a Willie Mays. I actually bought this from B Roth at the National. Here's a Yogi. Yeah, boo boo. I'm gonna get a big Nick basket. And Orlando Cepeda. Always try to pick up these Cepedas. Reminds me of my grandpa. El viejo. All right. Now, that, those were posts. Here is 1970 Kellogg's. Blah, ow! Robert Clemente. Now, <clears throat> this is cherry. No cracks. And uh, I think I might get this slab with SGC just to protect it. But I've seen them cracked in the slab. So I don't know if it's being exposed to light. I should just leave it. I'm thinking about moving these from the top loaders into these card savers just because there's a little bit more give to it. I don't know. But I'm also the type of cat, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I almost don't want to take it out because it's been in my top loader since I got it. But that's the 1970. Here's another 70 of Brooks. Bloom. And Gibby. Which I would love, speaking of Hall of Fame rookie cards, get his 59. All right. And the last card I want to show is the 1972. I do not have the 71 because every time I run to the 71, it's cracked. And I'm, you know, you know me. I'm the type of cat. OC needs, OC cards need love. You know, bent corners don't bother me. A lot of stuff doesn't bother me on a card. However, these 3D cards from uh, the 70s, I don't like them cracked. It takes away from the image. It's not the same. So 71, I'm always on the hunt for. If you have a 71, I'll let your boy. But it's a 72 right here. And this is beautiful. So, shoebox legends. Go check them out. Uh, there will be a link in the title and in the description below. And that's it. That's my VR. Got a lot coming up on the channel. And I'll leave that for another day. So peace out. Go Yankees.